plant-based therapies um, are very different than the use of drugs and pharmaceuticals because we're talking about you know biological agents, you know, so cells or products of cells uh, that exert therapeutic activities. And um, you know the field uh, has been evolving over the past ten years. Uh, we now have gone from uh, animal studies up to clinical trials to the point now that we actually have phase three trials uh, that are ongoing. Uh, and um, it's been uh, really exciting uh, to see the advancements in uh, trying to bring a new therapy uh, to stroke patients all the way from the preclinical to clinical stage. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, too many results yet, you know, at these advanced efficacy trials. Um, but, you know, we do see that, for, for example, uh, the use of cells that are being prepared from the bone marrow of a healthy volunteer, they can be administered to other patients. Um, in what we call an allogeneic approach, and they seem to be very safe. Um, and, um, you know, these first studies are telling us about which patient populations might derive benefit. Um, we're seeing the potential for, for early uh, uh, signals of treatment. Uh, but overall, um, I think it's going to be a couple of years before we fully work out which are the best patient populations uh, that could um, uh, really derive benefit from, from cell-based therapies. But I think the field is very exciting, you know, where it is right now. Um, it could uh, really be an area, for example, we've been looking at the use of marrow stromal cells. Um, and there's an uh, amazing amount of laboratory studies that support their efficacy. Um, and so we're looking to see um, if we could um, uh, test these cells in, in a uh, randomized trial uh, in patients after they've received reperfusion therapy because we know that uh, despite the best reperfusion therapies and how effective they can be to restore blood flow to the artery, that up to half of those patients still have poor outcome. So we see a great uh, opportunity in that patient population, for example, to work with to see if we can amplify their recovery with the use of cell-based therapies.